in this video we're going to prove the law of cosine uh, which is uh, this is one of the form of cosine rule or the law of cosine it says c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c now this is a convention of writing abc this is a triangle uh, abc so uh, the lowercase a is written uh, opposite to angle a so now this is angle a say this is angle a this is angle b and this is angle c so by convention the side opposite to angle a is written by the lowercase a the side opposite to angle b with lowercase b and so on so this is a relation between uh, three sides and the angle between uh, included by a and b okay so c squared is a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times b times cos c so <coughs> If you look at a b and cos c you can say or not cos c angle c angle c is included between a and b okay so now to prove this this is nothing but a general form of a pythagoras theorem so let me remove this angle so i want to draw a perpendicular from a on bc so let me draw a perpendicular from a on bc say let me call this say let me call this say m this is the foot of perpendicular which is m so this is a right angle both of them are right angle so let me call this say let us call this say x if this is x this much bm would be a minus x and let us call this ams h okay so <coughs> Uh, if you make suppose let me say in triangle in triangle a m b in triangle a m b angle a m b is a right angle angle a m b is 90 degree now we can use Pythagoras and say well c squared is equal to h squared plus a minus x the whole squared okay therefore I can say c squared is equal to h squared expanding this by perfect square this is a squared minus 2 a x plus x squared so let us uh, save this as a result okay now what is that we can see so the angle under consideration is angle C okay so we need cos C so what can we write about cos C so in triangle AMC I'm not writing that I hope you can see cos C cos is is adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent over hypotenuse so cos C the adjacent is X and the hypotenuse is B so can I say cos C is X over B which implies if you make X the subject I can say X is B cos C okay and what is that you can say in triangle a M B so let me say this is in in triangle a M a M C we are talking about triangle a M C okay so this is therefore okay so in triangle again in triangle amc let me rewrite in triangle amc can i say uh, x squared or b squared is equal to using Pythagoras again b squared is h squared plus x squared so this is so let us call this result so let us call this result one this is a result 2 and this say this is result 3 so we're going to substitute now uh, 2 and 3 in 1 so let us rewrite this 3 1 again can I say c squared is equal to h squared plus okay now first let me write a squared first 
So c squared can be written as rewritten as a squared plus h squared plus x squared minus 2ax. Okay, I wanted to uh, think what I'm going to do. What is h squared plus x, h squared plus x squared is b squared. And in place of x, what can I put? Okay, so if you look, if you have seen carefully, uh, it's very clear. So substituting, let us substitute, substituting 2 and 3, 2 and 3 in 1. So this is nothing but 1. So I can say c squared, let me change color, c squared is equal to a squared plus what is h squared plus x h squared plus x squared is b squared minus 2a and what is x x is nothing but b cos b cos c and that's your cosine rule okay so this is in terms of the side so if you make from this you can also write this implies c squared or if you make uh, cos c as the subject can I say 2ab cos c is equal to a squared plus b squared minus c squared and dividing both sides by 2ab I can say cos c is a squared plus b squared minus c squared over 2ab so this is also uh, 2ab sorry so this is also cosine rho the law of cosine in terms of the angle and here this is in terms of the side